Road to Wembley. Welcome to Road to Wembley. To Wembley. To Wembley. This is a series where I'll be showcasing the very best in non-league cup action. I'll be giving every round of the FA Vars and the FA Trophy by visiting grounds like this, 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 and finally ending up at Wembley Stadium where both games will be played on non-league finals day. So I hope you enjoy the series. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hello and welcome back to another video and it's FA Trophy third round, I think. We're here at Spotland. I don't know the name of the actual ground, Crown Oil, but most fans will know that they call the grounds the original name across the country. This is Spotland. It's Rochdale versus Gateshead. I'm kind of at the front row. Um, see if we can get a bit closer to the action because it is a proper, proper, this should be a football league club. Anyway, we we'll get to the action shortly. Also, we usually do a uh, chip review. It is here, as you can see. But this isn't from the ground. No, no, no. If you're coming Rochdale, behind the way stand there, it's Wilbert's Lane Chip Shop. These chips, 10 out of 10. The goalkeeper there for Gateshead is making his competitive debut and the same for Rochdale's goalkeeper. He's making his professional debut. So both very young players in goal for both sides and a number of changes from both sides. These sides are going for the playoffs um, in the moment. And as I said in previous videos with the FA Trophy, National League sides, if you're in and around the playoffs, you're not going to put your strongest teams out in this competition, especially with two teams playing each other from the National League. So, yeah, it's a tight game. A few chances, no chances, little quality and nil-nil so far. Oh, what a save that is. Uh, I apologise for the screaming woman behind me. First bit of good, good move of the whole game is coming up to half-time. A great move and a fantastic save on debut, competitive debut for the goalkeeper. A corner for Dale. Number seven, Sinclair there. He's been the best player by a country mile on the pitch. Short corners. What do I say about short corners? If you, remember, if you watch the Warrington game, short corners never work. It is a penalty to Gateshead. It was conceded by the young goalkeeper on professional debut. And if we have a replay, we'll insert it now. And anyway, here's the penalty. That's quick, referee. Over. Look, there you go. Middle of the L, did that go? Don't see the penalty taken so quick after it being given. It's usually a bit of a, you know, woman and ahhing about it. Big chance for Gateshead to take the lead there. And skied over, nil nil. Short corner, will it work? I'll tell you now, it won't. There you go, told you. Short corners never work, and there's a foul. It's a goal, we didn't get it. Um, right on, oh, well, we had three minutes added on. That must be literally the last kick of the game. And there's fair news to Gateshead fans. A long way to come midweek. We gave you a bottom map on for international viewers. Gateshead, Gateshead to Rochdale. We go, that is half time here at Spotland. It is Rochdale nil, Gateshead one. Well, live not the last 10 minutes at half, but it's Gateshead who took the lead. It's like no one wants to win the game. Uh, which is understandable with both teams got playoff aspirations to get into the Football League. So, Gateshead lead here, 1-0 at half-time. Right, uh, not the most flattened of angles, quite hard to film with people behind me. Um, so, apologies about this. So, yeah, we start the second half. Well, I was going to record the half-time music's far too loud, so I did touch on it at uh, the start of the video. There's been quite a struggle trying to do the FA... Well, I was ill, so that wasn't really help. But the FA Trophy and the FA Vars, I think, next month, they're both played on the same weekend. So again, it's going to make it difficult unless some games are Friday or a Sunday. Also, the rule change in the FA Vars, which is not, is crazy really. If it's postponed, the FA Vars, it's played the following Saturday. And then if it's postponed again, it's played the following Saturday again, but they switch as in the away team will then host. So that means it's two league, oh, swear it, <laughs> two, two league games that have to be postponed in the FA Vars. If it could have just been played midweek, either last week or this week, um, that would have been easier when it really doesn't make any sense to have it following Saturday now like I said two league fixtures are had to be cancelled 
for a lot of teams and call, that'll cause more disruption for their own leagues and later down the line. So a weird rule in the FA Vars, but FA Trophy, that was off on Saturday. But uh, it's played the following Tuesday, which is today. So any FA Trophy game that was off is played tonight. So that which makes a lot more sense. And with me being ill, I, this series nearly fell on its arse because if no games were cancelled in the FA Trophy on Saturday, then obviously that would have been it. There was a few games that I could have gone to tonight, so we're quite lucky that we had bad weather here in England on Saturday and uh, even teams in National League, well, Rochdale, ex-Football League team, even their ground was not an old one, wasn't it? They're down the road from each other, so... Yeah, so that was off on Saturday and therefore it's tonight. We could have gone Radcliffe and a uh, stretch Halifax, but um, I've already been Radcliffe this season uh, just to watch them versus Macfield, a decent game, top of league clash. And so I thought I'd come to Rochdale. I've not been here for a long time. And last time I came here, uh, my team lost 4-0 or 5. That was a long, long time ago. So, yeah, that's where we're up to with it. January, it might come crashing down again, but with England and the weather, hopefully... It will be called off again and we'll have some postponements and played midweek and therefore the dream will be alive. I think January and February is going to struggle. They're both on the same weekend, but after that, we might be OK. Second half side, will Rochdale get back into the game or will Gateshead book their place in the fourth round of the FA Trophy? Only time will tell. Uh, so here we are into the second half. Um, so once upon a time here at Rochdale, we will put on the screen now. A strike force Rochdale had. This is when I came, when I've watched Rochdale in the football league play my team. Um, they had Ricky Lambert and Grant Holt as a strike force. I, I mean, chance here though. Yeah. So what, I mean, what a strike force. Uh, there was League Two, and yeah, a strike force of Grant Holt and Ricky Lambert. One went on to play for England, and obviously had brilliant careers of both of them. Um, both playing the Premiership and Rochdale had the both from up front. I mean, my, I don't think they went up that season, even without. I could be wrong there. I'm not sure they got promoted that season. I think they were up there, but again, Rochdale fans are probably wrong. When you had, did you get promoted when you had Ricky Lambert and Grand Holt up front? Um, as for Gateshead, not quite as prestigious strike force, but if anyone unfortunately had to watch, you watched the Wrexham documentary or saw clips from it online, you know that Gateshead had. None other than Macaulay, Macaulay Longstaff as their striker before he got his move to Notts County. And Macaulay Longstaff scored 40 plus goals last season in that title push with Hollywood FC. So, yeah, obviously, Gateshead have not missed these goals too much. And he got a chance. This will be good timing. And he scored. Great timing. Who needs Macaulay Longstaff? when you got finishing like that. And I think, in my opinion, you know, it's early in the second half. I think that's game over. It's Rochdale down there, Gateshead too, yeah. So Macaulay Longstaff, we're very proud of that finish. Some excited children. And there's the Heat Army. They're from the northeast of the country. Is there any, has anyone got the shirt off? Well, I'm being very stereotypical of people from the northeast, or am I? So here we are at Spotland, it's Rochdale, nil, Gates said two, and like I said, I don't think Rochdale will be too bothered about going out in the competition. And from my research, this is Rochdale's debut in the competition because I don't think they've been in non-league football properly. It's only when they were like first formed in God knows when. I think this is Rochdale's debut season in a non-league team. So it's the first time they've been in the FA Trophy and it looks like they're going out of the first stage for them in the third round. Three nil. It's three nil to Gay said. No, referees, referees doesn't like that. Get away from them fans. Like, no one's actually asked behind that goal. I don't think they're causing any um, you know, antagonizing the fans is the words I'm looking for. It's too easy. I mean Rochdale are a shambles in the back, let's be honest, regardless of um if you know, regardless of competition. Um I think they made four changes tonight from the league game. It's been far too easy for Gateshead and this could be any score they wanted now to be honest with you but I said it was game over at 2-0 and it's certainly game over at 3-0. Rochdale nil. Gateshead 3. 
and hats off and Gateshead fans. Top work. Penalty to Rochdale now. Same end as Gateshead. Uh, pushing the back. Um, last time had a very quick turnaround on the penalty. Uh, there is. Give the camera pick that up. It's too far away. 18 minutes left. I've already seen a few Rochdale fans get leave. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Um, Gates said have definitely stepped up a level this half. Some of the football they play has been brilliant. The quality has been much better second half. Um, and it's Henderson. I'm sure he's been around the block more than once. But a bit of a, a club legend there at Rochdale. Again, Rochdale fans have watched this. Anyway. Oh, that's not Henderson. Sorry, Sinclair that's taken it. Apologies, couldn't quite see. I think. Yes, Sinclair is very lively first half. He's not really seen anything second half. He scored, puts it to the keeper's left. Uh, is it game on? I'd say not, no. Rush had haven't created much really at all. It's come, it's come out of nothing there. And they've also run on there. This young lad, where has he gone now? Number 34 there. Again, he's making his professional debut. Tyree Sinclair, yeah. It's been very lively, but number 34, he's on for his professional debut as well. So I think if Kate said, want to find another gear, they can easily do that. So Rochelle won. Gay said, free. So yeah, there we have it. I've left five minutes early, I'm afraid to say, but you know, I'm not leaving my own team five minutes early. I'm just leaving this game because you know it's now real so home. And uh, yeah, still recovering from illness, so hope you'll excuse me. I know if it happens, you would have seen it in the previous clip if we can get the clip off the goals. And uh, I'll put the full-time score here. Here, <laughs> I'll put the full-time score here. Me uh, analysis, I'll do it now. Gay said second half, very, very good side. Very impressed the football that they play. And even after the goal, Rochdale took the goal scorer off. They put on a player for his professional debut. So have three people making their professional debut. Right, congratulations, I think, to Gateshead. Next up is Saturday, it's the FA Vars. And we're at Earlham, I think, which is near Manchester, near Warrington. I've been Shirt Hunter, Shirt Hunter out.